At the beginning, I crossed over and became a Kuenpeng. I chose to suppress Hong Yun. When Yu Daozu gave a lecture, Juanti was caught up in a disastrous situation, and Hong Yun was watching closely. When he was forced to abdicate, he activated the divine selection system. At the beginning, the fusion of Kuen and Peng demon divine roots. Demonstrating the great Luo Golden Immortal, he violently attacked Juanti Jian and killed Hong Yun Gu in the Zixiao Palace. Strive to seize the fortune of various weather conditions, cultivate the highest divine power, be invincible in the world, and ascend to the realm of Hunyuan. This is a story of invincibility from the beginning of choice keywords of the novel. Hong Wang The Lord of the Nine Heavens at the beginning, mythical Kuenpeng without pop-ups, Hong Wang The Lord of the Nine Heavens at the beginning, mythical Kuenpeng complete collection download, Hong Wang the Lord of the Nine Heavens at the Beginning, Mythical Kuenpeng Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Starting with crossing and becoming Kuenpeng, I choose to suppress Hong Yun. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Starting with crossing and becoming Kuenpeng, I choose to suppress Hong Yun. The world is vast and boundless, and the sky and earth are vast. At the end of the Dao Mo controversy, Hong Jun slays Luo Gui, proves the way and becomes a saint, and proclaims the sound of the heavenly way. Erect the purple sky palace in the chaotic land, and spread the teachings of the three thousand red dust fathers. The sound of the sky is approaching, and countless creatures are heading towards the world of the wilderness. The purple sky palace is filled with auspiciousness and is thriving. The Grand Hall is already filled with six innate divine beings who have arrived and sat down one after another. They have a magnificent and sacred aura. They are Tai Ching, Yuan Shi, Tong Tian, and Yu Hua, Hong Yun Daoist, and Kuenpeng. Even in the world of innate divinity, which is as sacred as cattle and horses, it is still a top dot notch existence. Their cultivation is not bad, they all have the cultivation of Tai realm. That's also why they were able to cross the heavenly abyss and rush to Zixiao Palace first. At this moment, they are sitting cross-legged on a futon, with their five chi condensed in their chest and a vast body of magical power. Between thoughts and actions, one can create and destroy nature, and recreate the universe. The six innate sacred expressions remained calm, waiting for otherworldly guests to come. The Taoist ancestor appeared to give lectures and preach. However, at the forefront of the Purple Sky Palace, there are six Pu Tuan arranged in one character. Kuenpeng, sitting at the bottom, opened his eyes and a hint of confusion flashed through him. Is this crossing over? I became Kuenpeng. Memories surged out of his mind, instantly making him understand where he was. Lin Xiao never expected that a car accident actually made his soul pierce into the world of chaos. Moreover, he also became a Kuenpeng. Superior innate foundation, cultivation in the middle stage of Taiyi realm. The starting point can be described as not high. Just now is the time for 3,000 red dust guests to give lectures. Lin Xiao scanned the surroundings and felt clear in his heart. He is already in the Purple Sky Palace and occupies the last futon in the first row. No one knows yet. Among the six buns in the first row. All of them contain a brilliant purple aura, which is the opportunity to attain enlightenment and become a saint. However. Kuenpeng, however, does not have such luck and enjoys this opportunity. Lin Xiao happened to know this plot. With the gathering of three thousand mortal guests. Juanti and Jain, who come from the west, will cry and sell tragically then there will be a situation where Red Cloud abdicates and forces Kuenpeng to abdicate as well. Even the Yuan Shi, Tai Ching, and others in the front seats will lend a helping hand. When Daozu Hongjun appears and announces the opportunity to become a saint, he will become the laughing stock of the vast world. Just as I crossed over, I was about to become someone else's stepping stone and laughing stock. This is really unfair. Lin Xiao lowered his eyes, feeling a bit dissatisfied in his heart. The heavenly way is indifferent, 
the Tao ancestor is unjust. How can one obtain the opportunity to become a saint by admitting and attracting shameless and shameless individuals? And he's going to be their stepping stone. This is clearly a moral kidnapping. He came here through time travel, not to become a background board. Just as his heart was stirring, Ding, detected that the host is unwilling to be bullied and forced, activated the divine selection system, this system will generate multiple choices based on the host situation if the host makes a selection, they will receive a reward system. Lin Xiu's heart paused slightly, and he glanced around silently. Red Cloud abdicates, angrily rebukes Kuenpeng, causing the loss of the holy throne, which is tragic and tragic, option 1. Endure the anger of Red Cloud, be forced to abdicate, and miss the opportunity to become a saint rewards. Battle Avenue Rule, Chaos Dragon Root Feet, Tenyuan Meeting Mana, Option 2. Avoid moral coercion and forcefully suppress those who speak up and give way to others' rewards. Mixed Spirit Tianpeng, Chaos Demon Kuen Root Feet, Tenyuan Meeting Mana, Option 3. Leave Zixiao Palace directly and return to the Earth Immortal Realm, Reward. Five Elements Great Dao Rule, Hunyuan Tianxiang Root Foot, Tenyuan Meeting Mana, Note. When the system is activated for the first time, rewards will be directly issued after selection, three options are reflected in the heart lake. Lin Xiu's face showed contemplation, and his eyes flickered. The system provides three options, each of which is highly relevant to his current situation. However, the first option was directly abandoned by him. Since I have traveled once and become a Kuenpeng again why endure and compromise with such an incredible start? It should be that Juanti and Jian avoid him. What does Hongyun count as? How can we tolerate it? Of course, it's choosing to suppress everything. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered with a hint of coldness. The rewards for the three options are the foundation of the Chaos Demon God. Since that's the case why doesn't he choose an option that suits his heart and makes him comfortable? Then there are only the second and third options. And in these two options he naturally leans towards the second one. Suppressing everything. Most importantly, the reward for the second option also fits well with Kuenpeng's identity. My thoughts are turning. Lin Xiuxin's lake stirred up waves and decisively said in his heart, system, I have chosen the second option. Next moment, the system sounds. Ding congratulations to the host for making the choice, option 2. Not bound by moral coercion, forcefully suppressing those who speak up and give way, rewards. Mixed spirit Tianpeng, chaos demon Kuen root feet, Tenyuan meeting mana as the system sound falls. Lin Xiu's eyes were shining brilliantly, his mind was in a daze, as if sinking into an abyss without a bottom. Immediately, two large and one small light clusters suddenly appeared inside its body. In an instant, the sound of a long chant came, Wu. Yeah. The grand voices intertwined together, as if crossing the endless river of time. Those two large light clusters suddenly exploded. Immediately, it turned into light and rain, falling into its surrounding ruins. A magnificent and magnificent momentum rises. The massive black fish, blocking the sky and sun, leaps out of the chaotic sea. In an instant, the lonely and mournful sound of the sky spread throughout the world. A wave of all living beings extinguished, and the atmosphere of the heavens falling filled the air. In the chaos of the underworld, there is a Kuan fish born, who is one of the three thousand chaos demon gods, the chaos demon Kuan. Meanwhile, it leaps out of the sea of chaos and reaches into the clouds of the sky, suddenly undergoing a transformation. Buzz. Bursts of incredibly brilliant golden light. Like billions of suns exploding, dazzling and dazzling. In an instant, the chaos of heaven and earth was illuminated. In the blazing golden light that illuminated the chaos, a sky-covered paint appeared in its true form. Then, it flapped its wings and swayed towards the clouds in the sky. The darkness hovering over the boundless chaos was instantly shattered by its unfolding wings. 
that is one of the three thousand chaos demon gods, named Hunling Tianpeng. Amazing! End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Devouring two chaotic demon gods, roots and feet upgraded, and great enlightenment. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Devouring two chaos demon gods, roots and feet enhancement. Demon 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 demon. Chaos permeates, creating and transforming the universe. The six innate divine beings sit upright, with a solemn and comfortable appearance. This place is peaceful and stands tall as an otherworldly place. Just. At this moment, there is a surging wave of turbulence within Lin Xiu's body. Boom boom. Two light clusters exploded inside its body. In an instant, it transformed into countless scattered dots of light, merging into the hundred skeletons of the surrounding sky. Just in a blink of an eye. There are anomalies evolving and interweaving within its body. Lin Xiuxin has gained some understanding, observing the true bodies of the two chaotic demon gods and merging their roots. In an instant, Yin and Yang intertwined and blended together. In the purple sky palace, the hearts of the five innate divine beings moved slightly and cast their gaze. Lin Xiu fused the roots of two chaotic demon gods, and his five qi surged up in his chest, evolving into mystery. The fusion of yin and yang forms its own path. In an instant, its roots gradually sublimated. A faint and oppressive aura emanated. The other five innate divine beings who were sitting in a cross-legged position felt a sense of divinity, and suddenly turned their heads down. On this kuimpeng it seems like something has happened. What kind of fortune has one gained by meditating and realizing the Tao in this purple sky palace? Their eyes were surprised and somewhat uncertain. No one is thinking towards the root of it that's really too scary. Meanwhile, Lin Xiu's mind and spirit seem to sink into an bottomless abyss, with divine souls reaching all heavens and inscriptions reaching the highest level. Its body communicates the past, present, and future. In an instant, manifest your true form as Kuenpeng. Its essence is boundless, filled with heaven and earth. Yin and Yang blend together, merging into the great road. Boom! The dazzling and boundless pressure is surging. Its roots are constantly changing. Another moment. The light cluster representing the Ten Yuan meeting's mana exploded and merged into its body. His cultivation is also growing at this moment. And this is also perceived by the five innate divine beings. Kuenpeng's qi is becoming even more terrifying. Sanqing's eyes were faint, giving off a hint of emotion. The generation with cloaks and horns can actually achieve enlightenment here. I really can't figure it out. And in all their thoughts. Lin Xioning is calm and in the process of gradually transforming his roots and feet. His cultivation is also constantly rising. Lin Xiu has a feeling. Once the roots completely transform and reach the level of chaos in addition, the cultivation of the Ten Yuan society. If you focus on your understanding, you can definitely climb up to Dalai Lama. Amidst various thoughts. Lin Xiu is determined, so give it a try. In the purple sky palace, the five innate sacred hearts feel something. Their eyes showed a look of shock and their bodies trembled slightly. Then everyone cast their eyes together. In a daze, a kuenpeng with an unknown length of miles spread its wings and rose up. Wings of hanging clouds, crushing the sky. Next moment, the boundless world sinks and turns into waves surging in the sea of chaos. In an instant, everything fell silent. Lin Xiu closed his eyes and focused. One yin and one yang, blending and intersecting. A round of yin and yang fish emerged, reflecting the profound and supreme power of the road. It quietly undergoes transformation on its own. Intelligence, talent, and foundation are constantly improving. The fusion of the roots of the two chaotic demon gods. Enough to help me break through. Taking this opportunity. 
demonstrating the great Luo. A ripple rose in Lin Xiuxin's lake. Immediately, my mind became increasingly immersed in it. Buzz. The roots of the two chaotic demon gods intertwine and accumulate in that round of yin and yang fish, evolving the law of the yin and yang road. In an instant. A terrifying aura that has been ancient and vast is lingering and spreading out. What is Kuanpeng doing? What a terrible fluctuation. Is this the chance of the Taoist ancestor in the Zixiao Palace? Why is it this flat-haired beast? The five innate sacraments have a sense of induction, and I can't help but feel palpitations in my heart. For a moment, they also felt a sense of surprise in their hearts. However, they did not speculate on any fundamental changes. The roots of living beings are limited by heaven and earth, and they are fixed from the time of birth. Not to mention a Kuanpeng from Taiyi realm even Daozu Hongjun cannot change it. Sanqing is the authentic Pangu. Pangu Yuanshan has been transformed into three, ranking at the top of the list. But precisely because one is divided into three. The foundation of Sanqing is not enough to reach the level of chaos demon god. On the other hand, Lin Xiu. It blends the roots and feet of two chaotic demon gods, matching its own Kuanpeng body. At this point, it has surpassed Sanqing. Therefore, only the five innate sacredness can feel the sense of oppression originating from the source. As Lin Xiu's mind sank, he gradually merged the roots of the two major chaotic demon gods. His cultivation is also starting to climb. In the middle stage of Taiyi Realm in the later stage of Taiyi Realm peak of Taiyi Realm. Boom! Lin Xiu's five qi lingered in his chest, constantly rising into the sky. In an instant, an immeasurable brilliant light appeared above its head. What a terrifying aura! Kuanpeng really has a great chance. If it were taken over. The five innate divine eyes sparkle with hidden deadly intent. In the world of the wilderness, the law of the jungle. This Kuanpeng is just a mere flat-haired animal it was unlucky to have the opportunity left by the Daoist ancestors in this purple sky palace. Why? The three clear minds of the leader are surging, and they can't bear it anymore. Meanwhile, in an instant, light and rain are falling. Lin Xiu's body seemed to be filled with the fragrance of flowers. At this moment, there is a celestial anomaly, and the earth is filled with golden lotus flowers. In the void, countless traces of the great road are reflected. All kinds of anomalies are hard to describe. Lin Xiaopan sat on a futon, with yin and yang fish spinning behind him, intertwined with yin and yang, and the great road emerging from behind. Boom! The sea of chaos is boiling, sweeping up waves. Seeing the situation of Sanqing, it becomes increasingly difficult to suppress. This big wave is a derivative of the laws of the Tao, as if it is about to submerge heaven and earth. Even with just a glance, I feel palpitations and chills. Boom boom. Lin Xioshan is like a rock, motionless and constantly sinking in his mind. Behind it, the yin and yang fish seem like two giant eggs, nurturing the mysteries of the Tao. The five innate divine beings, including Tai Qing and Yuan Shi, couldn't help but cast their gaze. But. At this critical moment in Lin's revision, he completely ignored it. He has already touched a trace of the realm of the great Luo Golden Immortal, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Admission to the West, Crying of the West, Red Clouds Make Way You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 3 Admission to the West, Crying of the West, Red Clouds Make Way Time flies, a thousand years are fleeting. Hoo hoo hoo! In the Purple Sky Palace, one great divine power after another comes from crossing the heavenly abyss. So far, there are over two thousand people. All of them are first-class, one-legged beings in the wilderness. There are three-legged Jin Wu Di Jun Tai Yi, there is the Wu tribe's back earth Xian Ming, there is Jin Yuanzi, nine infants, and so on but after they set foot in Zixiao Palace. 
Only then did I realize that all six cattails in the first row already have owners. Sanqing from Shoyang Mountain. They are also here. And there are also N Yu Hua and Taoist Hong Yun. The one at the back is Kuanpeng. How unreasonable. They actually occupy the best and foremost positions. A group of great supernatural powers surged in their hearts, their eyes flickering with a chill. The first row of six best futon positions have already been occupied. They feel a bit resentful and eager to move. In the past, Hong Jun bestows the heavenly sound, opens the gates of the Purple Sky Palace, and preaches and teaches. His words clearly indicate that the first six seats have great opportunities and great fortune. Three thousand mortal guests flock here. I didn't expect surprisingly one step late. For a moment, the atmosphere was slightly oppressive. Sanqing and En Yuwa, who were sitting on the first row of six cattails, remained unmoved. They glanced at the Kuanpeng at the back in their spare time, their hearts full of thoughts. Thousands of years I don't know what kind of luck this Kuanpeng has had. Hundreds of years have passed again. In the Purple Sky Palace, there are already many great supernatural powers sitting there. Suddenly, two figures emerged from the high platform out of nowhere. Take one step and arrive in an instant. Teaching and preaching at Zixiao Palace today. The law of fate and the way of heaven. Daozu said, the time has come. From this moment on, the Zixiao Palace will be tightly closed. As the first Taoist child, born noble, speak loudly. The girl next to her has a somewhat phoenix-like posture with her faces alternating. The numerous great supernatural powers in the Purple Sky Palace all recognize the origins of two Taoist children. It is under the seat of Daozu Hongjun. One is Hao Tian, and the other is Yao Qi. Rumors have it that the two are innate stubborn stones. After being enlightened by the founder of the Tao, I have gone through countless hardships and achieved success in my cultivation. Heo Xiankian is about to close the palace gate, a hurried voice suddenly came from the west. Fairy child, wait a moment. Buzz. Two rainbow lights arrived one after another, straight into the purple sky palace. In an instant, clear air filled and surged. That's two Taoist priests, quickly bowing and bowing to Haotian. One has a yellow face and thin skin, while the other has a distressed appearance and a hurried expression. It is precisely the late arrival of reception and guidance. Xian Tong, I'm late. Please forgive me. The leading posture is placed very low, with a hint of pleasing intent. No problem. Hurry inside. Hao Tian nodded slightly and led with Yao Qi. Just as soon as Jane and Zhuanti entered the Zixiao Palace, their hearts suddenly became half cold. In the main hall, it is full and full. The six positions in the first row are already occupied. This. Take a glance and sweep away, my heart is cold. The remaining positions are all 108,000 miles away from the Daozu altar can you still hear the Taoist preaching? Zhuanti, who was nearby, also felt a chill in his heart. However as my mind was spinning, suddenly a spiritual light flashed in my mind. Ah Wu. -wu. Dear Taoist friends. Suddenly burst into tears. For a moment, it attracted countless gazes. I am poor in the West, constantly facing great calamity. There is no vitality left. Although I may speak softly, I have great ambitions in my heart. I came to Zixiao Palace this time to listen to the voice of the Taoist ancestor and to revive the West. Poor and poor. Jian couldn't help but tremble and cry, these words seemed to hide countless grievances in his heart. A group of great supernatural powers stared blankly at this scene. I feel a bit confused in my heart can it still be like this? However, there won't really be fools who really fall for it, right? Alas, I didn't expect my fellow Taoist to be in such a miserable situation. How can I bear it? Red Cloud, sitting behind En Yuwa, felt a slight movement in her heart. Immediately, he let out a long sigh and said, Brother Dao, 
please come and take your seat here. The words fell. Red Cloud rose up and left his position as a cattail, leading the way. A hint of absurdity surged in the hearts of a group of great supernatural powers, their eyes shining brightly as they stared at the position of the futon given up by Red Cloud. Then he looked at Jane's grateful face towards Hong Yun and sat on the latter's futon. Witnessing this scene, Juan Ti realized it later and realized it. Immediately, he also burst into tears. Woo 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 woo. I might as well mention Brother Juanti. I don't want to be in this seashell palace without even a mat of cattails. What a pity. In an instant, even Sanchin couldn't resist it. They twitched slightly at the corners of their mouths and couldn't bear to look straight at them. These two goods are really shameless. However. Red Cloud, however, felt a great shock and looked at the already seated receiver in embarrassment. Just a futon how to divide it. Red Cloud suddenly felt a slight movement in his heart. Immediately, he led the lead towards Lin Xiao who was sitting with his eyes closed. Red Cloud just remembered thousands of years ago, the latter seemed to have had a chance in the Purple Sky Palace. Kuenpeng Taoist friend, these two Taoist brothers from the West are a bit difficult. It seems that my Taoist friends in the poor Taoist temple have already had a chance in the Purple Sky Palace before. I don't need this futon anymore. If we don't just give way to our guide friends, in order to achieve the Western Tao Yuan. How about it? The words fell. Eyes cast one after another. Either in shock or shock. They didn't expect unexpectedly, someone had a chance in the Purple Sky Palace before this. Upon hearing this, Jane couldn't help but cast a glance. Brother Kuenpeng. Since you have already gained the opportunity, how can you continue to occupy the position? Listen to Brother Hongyun, get up quickly and make way. Thank you very much here, poor Taoist. And Xuanti, led by Hongyun, looked at Lin Xiao with envy and jealousy. However, Lin Xiao's eyes were not open either, he was comprehending Sanhua. If he's still one step away, he can push open the door of Dala. At that time, you will be able to leap forward in your life level, transcend the five elements, and attain enlightenment. At this moment. After hearing these words, he ignored them at all and said calmly, Don't thank you. I didn't say I wanted to give you a seat. I don't have the ability. Relying on others to give. What a thick-skinned person. Get lost. Don't bother me. After speaking, he stopped paying attention. Immersed in mind. In its heart lake two towering figures blocking the sun gradually blend in. That is truly the foundation of the two chaotic demon gods. At this moment. I have gradually been merged into myself by Lin Xiao. Above its head, there is a heavenly spirit, with a faint and refreshing aura permeating it. This is a sign of gathering three flowers. Exactly so. He doesn't have the time to deal with Hong Yun and Zhuanti, and lure these clowns. However. Red Cloud was scolded directly, but he couldn't bear it. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Sanqing doubts, chaotic demon like Kuenpeng suppresses Red. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4. Sanqing doubts, chaotic demon like Kuenpeng suppresses Red Cloud. In the Purple Sky Palace, the atmosphere suddenly became subtle. Daoist friend, this statement is not accurate. Red Cloud frowned and glared at Lin Xiao, shouting, You've already got the chance. Now, no matter how forcefully we occupy our position. Isn't it too selfish and selfish? Upon seeing the situation, Zhuan Ting spoke up and said, You're right. Kuenpeng Daoyu, since you have already obtained the opportunity, don't occupy any more positions. Why don't you stand up and give way? I will definitely accept your kindness in the future. Yuan Shi, sitting on the second futon, squinted his eyes slightly. A flat-haired animal in Kuenpeng district why did he have a chance in the purple sky palace before him? In an instant, the fire of jealousy in his heart burned fiercely. Indeed, 
it's livestock, birds, and poultry. I have no moral sense at all. I didn't expect to let you get into this purple sky palace. The opportunity left by Daozu. Humph, what qualification does a cold and ruthless flat-haired beast like you have to enjoy? If you don't want to give up, then give up the opportunity. Get out of Zixiao Palace immediately. The words fell. Yuan Shir opened his eyes and looked around, his pupils reflecting the scene of the collapse of the heavens. Heaven and earth are torn apart, chaos is annihilating. All spirits perish between life and death terrifying. In an instant, Lin Xiu's heart twitched and he opened his eyes to greet him. This is targeting him. In that gaze, there is the power of Taiyi Realm's laws. Two eyes colliding in the void. Boom. In an instant, the entire Zixiao Palace trembled. It's also fortunate that in this purple sky palace, there must be a lot of mustard seeds, containing the universe. If not I'm afraid the sky will crack in an instant. Even so. The two gazes still gave way, fiercely colliding and never retreating. Buzz. The surrounding space is slightly swaying. In the dark, it seems like a replay of the opening weather. Many starry seas emerge, undulating and moving, reproducing chaotic phenomena. Yuan Shi's face changed slightly, and he felt a terrifying force turn around. Next moment, he quickly got up and turned back. But he was still injured, his body shook, and his face turned a bit pale, damn it. What a flat-haired beast, how dare you sneak attack this seat. Yuan Shi's face was gloomy, staring at Lin Xiu intently. He doesn't believe Kunpeng has such strength. I just thought it was the latter who took the opportunity to exert force and wanted to inflict heavy damage on him. Sitting on the second row of Futuan, Taiyi and Emperor Jun silently looked at each other, shocked in their hearts. This Kunpeng doesn't show its beauty, the mountain doesn't show its water just a glance. Surprisingly, it contains such terrifying power. Zhen Yuanzi, who was also located in the second row of Futuan, felt a faint sense of unease in his heart. The situation seems to be gradually losing control he frowned slightly and was about to speak up to advise. However, Hong Yun is a bit annoyed. Kuenpeng. You're selfish enough not to give up. Why would you attack Brother Yuanshir for no reason? Red clouds flash and move, tearing apart the void, blocking in front of Yuanshir. Although this old man likes to meddle in his own affairs but there is still some sense of responsibility. However, at this time, Lin Xiu doesn't care about any red clouds or the beginning jump out and cause trouble at the critical moment of his breakthrough. Kill everyone. Quack noise. This Futuan has not been robbed or stolen, it was obtained openly. Under your coercion, it seems that this seat has done something unseen. Surprisingly, how could you question this seat? You're really deceiving my good temper. Lin Xiu suddenly widened his eyes. In an instant, her eyes were bright, one yin and one yang. The two eyes are becoming increasingly profound. An indescribable and terrifying pressure suddenly swept out of him. Immediately, heaven and earth fell silent. Boom! The sea of chaos surges and sets off a towering wave, as if it has submerged the vast world. A huge and incomparable black shadow emerged, flapping the wings of the hanging clouds and crushing the sky. Yeah! Amidst the long roar, sweeping across all directions. I like to meddle so much. It depends on how much skill you have. Lin Xiu opened his five fingers and turned them into claw marks, grabbing straight towards Hong Yun. In an instant, the golden light blocking the sky and sun bloomed. As if billions of suns were exploding, dazzling and blazing like brilliance. No one expected Lin Xiu to be so decisive and take action directly. Red Cloud was startled and felt boundless pressure surging in his heart. A shadow of death looms over us. Immediately, he also became angry. How arrogant and impolite. What Brother Yuanshir said is good. You don't deserve to stay in this purple sky palace. 
boom. Red Cloud, unwilling to be outdone, slapped and welcomed him. The combination of fists and palms creates a stunning vibration. Two terrifying mana collided and then transformed into ripples, stirring all directions. Crack. The surrounding space was instantly torn apart. Ripples tear apart nothingness, carrying the turbulent flow of destruction. Boom boom. Between the heavens and the earth, chaos has been torn apart by life. Chinchi gradually rises and the turbid air is sinking. A boundless world has been opened up by life. Tai Golden Immortal, existence itself is immortal and immortal. In a moment of thought, life and death are changing, and the universe is changing. This is just an illusion caused by a casual blow. That is to say, in this purple sky palace, the power of the heavenly way is enveloped. If not the aftermath of their confrontation will only be even more terrifying. The roots and feet of this Kuenpan. It seems a bit extraordinary. Sitting in front of him, Tai Ching's eyes flickered, as if they contained infinite secrets. At a glance, he had already seen through. Red Cloud is not Kuenpeng's enemy. Another blow Hong Yun is about to lose. Tai Ching was shocked in his heart and secretly said, This Kuenpeng is hiding so deep. Such a profound cultivation. It doesn't seem like an ordinary congenital foot. There is a faint scent of, we are three clear dot. Just a thought of it. Tai Ching couldn't conceal the shock in his heart. And at this moment, Lin Xiu once again took action to evolve the power of the Yin Yang Avenue. Buzz. The golden rays of the road tear through the void and turn into black light, like a black abyss, blending together. Next moment, yeah. As if crossing an endless river, the eternal roar of time resounds. A dark shadow that covers the sky and the sun leaps out of the chaotic sea, fighting for nine days and spreading killing opportunities all over the world. That is truly Kuenpeng's Dharma realm. His eyes reflect the sun and moon, and countless golden rays bloom like divine light. Descending from the forest. Puff. Red cloud cannot withstand this blow. In an instant, his whole body was bleeding, his eyes were dim, and he retreated. A group of great supernatural powers were seen, shocking and inexplicable. Under one blow unexpectedly defeated Hong Yun. This Kuenpeng is so fierce. In fact, during this period, there were three thousand red dust guests in Zixiao Palace, and the strongest one was Sanqin. That's just the peak cultivation of Taiyi realm. Like red clouds in the early days of Taiyi territory, it was natural that Lin Xiu could not be defeated. Suddenly, at this moment, Kuenpeng, just a flat-haired beast, dare you dare to be reckless in this ancestral palace. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Ninety Petals, Ten Grade de Luo Daoguo, Strong Killing 4 You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Chapter 5 Ninety Petals, Ten Grade de Luo Daoguo, Strongly Suppressing the Four Heavenly Sacred Ones Upon seeing the situation, a tacit understanding emerged in my heart. Immediately, they suddenly erupted and joined forces to kill Lin Xiu. They naturally don't have that ancient and warm dot hearted way. Just seeing a big battle between Lin Xiu and Hong Yun I thought he was spending a lot and planned to find a bargain. I took this opportunity to suppress Lin Xiu. After that, Zheng Yen Shun snatched the position of the latter's futon. Kill. Lin Xiu didn't hesitate to step back and directly took action, facing Zhuanti and Jane. In an instant, he was the lone warrior of the three Tai Golden Immortals. The war broke out, it was incredibly intense. Holy blood splatters everywhere. Before Daozu, in the Purple Sky Palace. You flat haired beast, how dare you show off and be reckless. Suppress it. Not far away, Yuan Shi's expression was indifferent, and he suddenly raised his hand and threw it. A white light flew out of the sleeve, reflecting a magnificent and boundless power. Buzz. That is a white jade as desired, lingering in the sky with three treasures. 
Five colors of auspiciousness hang down, rendering the entire sky and shining brightly. A supreme and noble aura lingers around. Three precious pearls are embedded in it, and the stars of the heavens appear, with the sun and moon appearing together. On that jade Rui eight ancient and profound characters suddenly appeared. Follow the heavens and rest with the Tao. It's the three treasures of the jade that make you wish. Surprisingly, Sanqing also took action. Kuenpeng is about to finish. A group of innate divine hearts trembled, looking at the jade Rui in disbelief. However, Lin Xiuxi showed no fear, her eyes turned cold. Sanqing. What a big name. Then let me see how powerful the so dot called authentic Pangu really is. Lin Xiu opened his five fingers and grabbed San Baoyu Rui directly. But it suffered even more severe backlash. When? He just went straight ahead. Their palms are like divine iron, invincible. No matter how much San Baoyu Rui trembles I can't break free either. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered and the yin and yang fish in his palm rotated. The surrounding space trembles faintly buzz. San Baoyu's Rui trembles slightly, her innate pressure explodes. Seems to have sensed a hint of crisis. Countless prohibitions are surging up. Ong. On the head of the white jade Rui handle, nine golden dragons spread their teeth and dance their claws. A long dragon chant resounds through the sky and earth. The dragon's whiskers are raging, reflecting the true power of the dragon. It's just a dead object. Dare to cause trouble. Lin Xiu's eyes were cold and he raised his hand to suppress it. Boom. At this moment, a terrifying aura suddenly came, and Xing Xing interrupted Lin Xiu's momentum. But it was a joint effort between Juanti and Jian, not far away, the red cloud also regained its strength and became furious slapping it with a palm. Enemies are everywhere. However, Lin Xiufei did not hesitate at all, his eyes burst into a stunning light. Breakthrough. Right now. Lin Xiu fully displayed his cultivation, and the rosy glow above his head moved freely. A terrifying aura gradually surged from him, spreading in all directions. Boom. In an instant, Lin Xiu's body was filled with immense power. The two energies of Yin and Yang are diffuse, penetrating the body and interweaving into the laws of the Great Way. In the dark, two terrifying black shadows emerged. Its body is boundless and its weight is immeasurable. Open your eyes, all worlds are destroyed. He is one of the three thousand chaos demon gods, the Hunling Tianpeng and chaos demon Kuan. At this moment, under the leadership of Lin Xiu, the roots and feet of the two chaotic demon gods blend together, and there is no other. Wu. The long roar that shakes the heavens and earth resounds, as if it harbors all things and extinguishes all spirits. A sense of eternal loneliness permeated the hearts of three thousand mortal guests in the Purple Sky Palace in an instant. They couldn't help but show shock on their faces under this pressure, even a single bit of mana cannot be mobilized. The Tai Qing, Tong Tian, and En Yuwa sitting on the first row of Futuan are also unbelievable. Because they have also been suppressed. Meanwhile, Buzz. Zixiao Palace trembles. A mysterious and dazzling clear light shines brightly, illuminating the avenue of heaven and earth. Lin Xiuli stood in the void, his whole body shining brightly, and his majesty cannot be seen directly. Above its head, auspiciousness permeates and interweaves, transforming into three flowers of the great road, gradually blooming. In an instant, the immensely dazzling avenue shone brightly with a mysterious light. A Tao fruit curls up like a baby, emerging between those three flowers. Its flowers bloom ninety times, and the certificate is of the tenth grade. The great Luo is eternal. The three thousand mortals who witnessed this scene stirred up a huge wave in their hearts. The Luo Jin Xian. Kuenpeng Breakthrough, Demonstrating the Great Luo. And flowers bloom ninety petals. This is the tenth grade the Luo Dao fruit. 
even the former Daozu Hongjun. It's just a ninth grade de Luo Jin Xian. Tai Qing was stunned and lost in thought, unbelievable. This Kuanpeng is so terrifying leap into the realm of the Great Luo and prove the ten rank golden immortal of the Great Luo. At this point, Lin Xiu slowly exhaled, his eyes twinkling with divine light, incredibly intimidating. Just rely on you. Want to kill me? Lin Xiu's gaze swept away, and the surrounding void collapsed instantly. Its aura looms brightly, with oppressive red clouds, Juanti, and others almost suffocating. Boom! Lin Xiu made a bold move and threw a punch forward. The sound of the Great Road is deafening. The entire Zixiao Palace is trembling with fear. In the underworld, a majestic force of the Heavenly Way looms down, eliminating all aftershocks. If not I'm afraid even Zixiao Palace can't withstand this burst of power. Puff. Juanti and Jane were unable to dodge and met head dot on, suffering heavy damage. The five energies in their chests have collapsed. Terrifying. Buzz. At the beginning, the three treasures Jade was urged to succeed, pressing down from the sky. His expression was solemn, and a hint of panic reflected in his eyes. Lin Xiu's breakthrough was too unexpected he subconsciously had a hint of fear in his heart, and the voice in his heart told him that he must interrupt Lin Xiu's momentum at this moment. Boom! White jade shines brightly and shines brightly. In an instant, nine five-clawed golden dragons soared into the sky. Like a true dragon reappearing, thousands of strands of golden light blooming in full bloom. This blow is enough to easily defeat the innate divine at the peak of Taiyi realm. However, when Lin Xiu opened his five fingers and directly annihilated nine five-clawed golden dragons. Buzz! Buzz! San Baoyu's Rui trembles unexpectedly, he really imprisoned me. At this moment, three thousand mortal guests were all shocked. Puff! Yuan Shir suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood and suffered a backlash, terrified. He sensed the traces left within the three treasures Jade Rui have been worn away by life. My companion treasure. Kuanpeng. How dare you, this flat-haired beast. Yuan Shir roars and roars. However, Lin Xiu ignored him and rushed forward, crossing the void. Since you like to please others so much. That seat satisfies you. Let you complete the main road of this building. Accompanied by Lin Xiuxin's cold voice falling. Behind it, the Yin Yang fish suddenly enlarged. The figure of a huge object immediately emerged. There is a fish in the North Sea, named Kuan. It transforms into a bird, and its name is Peng. He is truly the essence of Kuanpeng. Just this Dharma is too vast blocking the sky and sun, sweeping across the heavens and earth. Wu! Kuanpeng's long cry. In an instant, the purple sky palace was shaken by it. The next moment, Kuanpeng suddenly opened his mouth, and the world suddenly darkened. A sense of despair surged in the hearts of three thousand mortal guests. It seems like it's about to fall here. Red Cloud looked up at the towering Kuanpeng, and a hint of regret surged in his heart. Ah! Red Cloud couldn't help but scream. Immediately, boom! Kuanpeng descended, swallowing the sky and devouring the sun. In an instant, the entire Red Cloud was swallowed. Its tiny golden body was instantly worn out. This scene was shocking on the spot. The Luo Jin Xian This is the power of the Luo Jin Xian. Raise your hands and feet, kill Taiyi. Shit. Suddenly, a beam of primordial light rushed out. He is the immortal spirit of Hongyun and wants to escape. I can't leave. Lin Xiu's expression was indifferent, his fingers spread open, and he grabbed forward. He has no intention of letting go of Hongyun. Ah. Red Cloud turned around and couldn't help but scream in agony. At this moment, buzz. A heavy pressure rises and rises. The towering ancient trees emerge like clouds, 
blessing all directions. In an instant, it seemed as if the earth had unleashed an boundless force. Sigh. Kuanpen, please be merciful. I beg for a favor here. Jin Yuanzi appeared and couldn't help but sigh. He lifted a green light in his palm. A lively and vibrant spirit lingers around, never stopping. He waved away and directly incorporated the true spirit of Hongyan's primordial spirit into it. Earth's Membranes The Earth Book Classic of Mountains and Seas Lin Xiu squinted his eyes slightly and looked at this scene, feeling no waves in his heart. What can we do with another Earth Book? He cast his gaze and stared at Zen Yuanzi. Are you trying to stop me? In an instant. The Lua Wei looms down. Zhen Yuanzi suddenly felt pressure and complained incessantly. I just want to beg for mercy from Brother Dao. The matter has come to this point, and Hong Yun has also learned a lesson. Please be lenient, Taoist brother. Lin Xiuzi's eyes turned cold and he said calmly, What are you? You deserve to have a relationship with me. Do you really think that with the protection of the land book, one can have confidence and fearlessness? The words fell. Lin Xiu's eyes are full of murders. First there was a kind dot hearted old man named Hong Yun, and now there's another one. Do everyone think he's easy to bully? Since that's the case. Then kill them all. Lin Xiu's killing intent surged in his heart, and the Kuanpeng Dharma appeared behind him. A terrifying pressure looms upon us. At a critical moment, in the Purple Sky Palace, there must be no noise. A dusty voice sounded in this Purple Sky Palace. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Daoist Injustice, Activating Choice Again, Leaving Zixiao Palace You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Daoist Injustice, Activate Choice Again, Leave Zixiao Palace Buzz In an instant, Zixiao Palace trembled uncontrollably. The purple and golden avenue emerges. The golden lotus blooms everywhere, chirping and trembling, and divine birds dance. In the darkness, it seems as if the vast expanse of the road and the heavens and earth are trembling. An elderly man with white beard and hair appeared, sitting cross-legged at the highest point of the Taoist palace, forming a lotus platform. Around it. The three thousand rules turn into a great road, appearing one after another and moving around. It's Daozu Hongjun. I have set up the Purple Sky Palace here. All visitors are destined guests of the mortal world. That's the disciple of the poor path. Since that's the case. How can we make our classmates' faces tear apart over a small dispute? Not humble, not respectful. The road is not long. It's just a futon seat. What if we let it go? Hong Jun spoke slowly, his voice booming like a heavenly constitution. In a daze, as if approaching with heavenly power. Red Cloud, Zhuanti, and Jane, who were scolded, immediately turned pale and couldn't help but bow their heads and brows. Even Sanqing stood up, bowing and apologizing. But Hong Jun remained unmoved. He sat cross-legged on the platform, overlooking the three thousand mortal guests in the Purple Sky Palace. As if gazing down at the heavens of all ages. A pair of eyes are flowing, and boundless secrets emerge. This is Daozu. In this era of chaos under the heavenly way, Hong Jun is undoubtedly the uncrowned king. Numerous great supernatural powers couldn't help but cast their gaze, all of which couldn't help but be amazed. Because Hong Jun's words seem to be reprimanding Hong Yun and others. But why does it seem like there's still a hint of pulling the frame? What does giving up mean? This is in favor of Red Cloud giving way. Not far away, Lin Xiu's expression was calm. He seemed not surprised at all that Hong Jun pulled the crossbar due to the conflict between Taoism and demons, the West has become impoverished, and Hong Jun owes the West causality. Now. 
Lecture at Zixiao Palace, Teaching the Fate of the Holy Throne This is Hong Jun borrowing the gift of the Heavenly Way and returning a cause and effect to the West. Even if there is no red cloud to give way. Zhuanti and Jian will also be guided by the Heavenly Way and seize the opportunity to obtain this Putuan seat. It's really unfair. Lin Xiu's heart was calm, and he looked coldly at Hong Jun. Ding, strong emotional fluctuations detected in the host. Starting environmental simulation. Generate three options Option 1. Resolutely refuse to give up the position of Putuan, confront Hong Jun, and defy the will of the Heavenly Way reward. Chaos Dragon Root Feet Option 2. Hold back the anger in your heart, accept the mediation of Hong Jun, and be the last to listen to the lecture of Zixiao Palace Reward. Ten Yuan Mana Option 3. Leave Zixiao Palace directly and return to the Earth Immortal Realm for Reward. Manling Tianpeng's Cultivation Insights, Wanling Map, Three Choices. Lin Xiu squinted his eyes slightly and looked at the options that appeared in front of him. From the perspective of rewards alone, it is not difficult to make a choice. And this reward also fits his inner thoughts very well. I'm not strong enough now. Only the Luo Jinxian is just an ant in this vast world. Directly facing the rigid Heavenly Dao and Hong Jun would be too foolish. As for swallowing your pride. Ha! Lin Xiu sneered inwardly and glanced at the palm of Zhen Yuanzi's hand. The primordial spirit of Hong Yun is truly immortal, reflecting a ferocious and crazy face. Those eyes were filled with anger and resentment. This kind of goods why make him swallow his pride. System, I choose the third option. Lin Xiu silently said a sentence in his heart. Ding congratulations to the host for making the choice option 3. Leave Zixiao Palace directly and return to the immortal realm, reward. Mixed Spirit Tianpeng's Cultivation Enlightenment, All Souls Map, Lin Xiuin resisted the impulse in his heart and did not receive the reward. He looked up at Hong Jun and bowed directly, Daozu. Since Zixiao Palace does not allow it, then I will bid farewell. Say it. Without looking back, Lin Xiuto turned around and left Zixiao Palace, crossing the heavenly abyss. In the Purple Sky Palace. Before the three thousand mortal guests could react, they stared blankly at Lin Xiu's back. This is too decisive. Just leave as soon as you say. On the platform, Hong Juan's eyes flickered and he remained silent. There is still a hint of surprise in his heart. But on second thought, he realized. Three thousand mortal guests leave one it's not without the mystery of fifty great roads, escape one. It's the Tianyan 49 game. Therefore, Hong Jun did not stop Lin Xiu from leaving. The Heavenly Way once deduced the concept of quantitative calamity. All six saints have a fixed number. Kuenpeng took the initiative to leave, which saved him a lot of trouble. Hong Jun nodded secretly. Lin Xiu suddenly broke through to the Luo Jin Xian, which really scared him. This is an accident, it was not supposed to happen. Now. Lin Xiu took the initiative to leave, which actually made Hong Jun breathe a sigh of relief. However. The great experts in Zixiao Palace don't think so anymore. They didn't look back at Lin Xiuto and just left Zixiao Palace I don't know why. For a moment, there were some complex emotions in my heart. Daozu's teaching is a great opportunity, this Kuenpeng is too restless. In the future, some of them will regret it. What a pity. A group of mortal guests either mock or feel regretful. In the Purple Sky Palace, the Taoist ancestor teaches. What kind of opportunity is this? Abandoning such a fate if we meet again in the world of chaos in the future, even if Kuenpeng proves Daruo first, they will still leave us far behind. No matter how powerful Kuenpeng is now, the road ahead is also clear. The Luo Jin Xian it's the end of Kuenpeng. Zhuanti and Jane exchanged a glance, silently regulating their breath and calming down the surging magic within their bodies. As soon as this Kuenpeng leaves, 
I am waiting in the Purple Sky Palace to listen to the teachings of the Taoist ancestor, and I am sure that those who come later will catch up. Find this Kuimpeng for revenge when the time comes. A snow of shame before. On the other hand, Sanqing's emotions are also somewhat complex. Just now Lin Xiu showcased his divine power, crushing the four innate sacredness. I really surprised them. I didn't expect it. In the blink of an eye, the other party actually left. Yuan Shi sneered and stared fixedly in the direction where Lin Xiu was leaving. Stupid. Indeed, it's a flat-haired beast wearing fur and armor. There's no glimmer of wisdom. Yuan Shi's face is a bit pale. Just had a fight with Lin Xiu, and he also suffered a heavy blow. At this moment, the magic within its body has not yet been healed. But seeing Lin Xiu leave so angry he, who was already disdainful of Kuanpeng, his eyes became increasingly gloomy. Yuan Shi still thought in his heart that when he heard the teachings of the Taoist ancestor in this purple sky palace and gained something, he would definitely seek revenge in the forest. Suddenly, he frowned. I vaguely feel that something is wrong just at this moment. Next to it, Tai Qing's eyes flickered slightly, looking at Yuan Shi thoughtfully. The three treasures are as good as your wishes. It seems like it's still in Kuanpeng's hands. The words fell. Yuan Shi's face suddenly froze. He suddenly realized isn't the reason for the heavy damage exactly because the accompanying spirit treasure, Sanbao Yuru, was stolen by Lin Xiu. Kuanpeng. Yuan Shi instinctively wanted to chase after him. At the entrance of the palace, Hao Tian and Yao Qi slowly pushed the gate it's closed. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Chaos Spirit Treasure, The Power of Chaos Demon God in the Past You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Chaos Spirit Treasure, The Power of Chaos Demon God in the Past Boom! The gate of Zixiao Palace is tightly closed. Yuan Shi's heart also instantly cooled halfway. Damn Kuanpeng. The three precious jade in this seat are as auspicious as you wish. Yuan Shi gritted his teeth and stared fixedly at the closed gate of the Purple Sky Palace. That's his companion spirit treasure. I was snatched away by Lin Xiu like this. After the lecture ends, we must find the killer Kuanpeng as soon as possible. Yuan Shi withdrew his gaze with hatred and suppressed his anger. On the side, Tai Qing and Tong Tian saw the situation and offered comfort. Meanwhile, on that platform, Hong Juan's voice slowly sounded. The time has come. The speaker who arrived at Zixiao Palace today. In the future, they will all be mortal guests under the poor sect. From now on. Sort the lecture seats according to today's schedule. The first row of six red dust guests have the opportunity to obtain the holy throne. Prove to become a saint, immortal forever. The words fell. A group of great supernatural powers widened their eyes and shook their hearts. To preach and become holy. If Kuanpeng had known, he would have regretted even turning his eyes green. Why didn't this seed arrive first and grab the position of the futon ahead? So Zhuanti and Jane are good luck paths. At this moment, Sanqing, Nyuwa, Zhuanti, and Jane were also surprised and inexplicable, and couldn't help but feel ecstatic. Great. There is a chance for this enlightenment to become holy. Goodbye to that Kuanpeng in the future, I will definitely seek revenge. Yuan Shi's heart was secretly uplifted, and there was no longer the pain of losing his companion's spiritual treasure. On the other side, under the protection of the earth's fetal membrane, Hong Yun luckily saved the true spirit of the primordial spirit from extinction. But at this moment, after hearing these words, a hint of complex emotions inexplicably arose in my heart if he didn't abdicate, wouldn't it be that this holy opportunity also has his share? Just a thought of it. Red Cloud's mind is becoming increasingly chaotic. Upon seeing this, Zhen Yuanzi sighed inwardly. This time Hong Yun can be considered as losing both his wife and his soldiers. 
Not only did he miss the opportunity to ascend the throne, but he also offended Kuenpeng. I don't know why. However, Jin Yuanzi felt a faint unease towards Lin Xiao who had left it seems like even without the creation of Zixiao Palace. Lin Xiao can also soar up to 90,000 miles. Meanwhile, outside the Purple Sky Palace, chaos is boundless. The heavenly abyss cross and fall, blocking between heaven and earth, like a heavenly moat, blocking all creatures attempting to cross over. Tianyuan. For me now, it no longer poses any threat. Lin Xiao took steps and casually crossed the heavenly abyss. The boundless wind is coming towards you, capable of easily tearing apart any Taiyi golden immortal. But the strong wind has not yet approached Lin Xiao the Dao Dao de Luo Qi swept and moved, instantly annihilating all the strong winds. Lin Xiao was not fast, but with just one step, he disappeared for thousands of miles behind him. It's like stepping into an era. Scream. In a daze, there seemed to be the sound of waves crashing. Lin Xiao's feet seemed to be treading on a large river, flowing incessantly and rushing away. That's a river of time. After breaking through the realm of the great Luo Golden Immortal, every step taken feels like crossing time. Boom. Tianyuan trembled for a moment. It seems like I can't bear the presence of Lin Xiao as he delved deeper, the vibration became more intense. However. At the end of the heavenly abyss it's almost here. In the abyss of heaven, the great roads are chaotic, and time changes. Lin Xiao walked along the river of time, slowly leaving the heavenly abyss and gazing ahead. On the edge of that heavenly abyss there are creatures constantly casting their gaze. They were unable to successfully cross the heavenly abyss and become one of the three thousand mortal travelers. But he didn't want to leave here, so he wandered around here, wasting more time. Ha! Huh. How could there be an existence from the heavenly abyss? Previously, I heard the sound of the Dao Zhong in the chaos, indicating that the lecture at Zixiao Palace had begun. Did I leave midway? How could it be? On the edge of the heavenly abyss, Countless gazes were fixed on Lin Xiao, with a look of suspicion and uncertainty. However, Lin Xiao didn't stop, took steps, and just crossed the heavenly abyss and left. Boom! The next moment, Tianyuan trembles. A group of creatures looked at each other in silence when they saw the situation. Where exactly does this exist? There is such terrifying oppression. On the other side, Lin Xiao walked through the flowing light of time, his whole body flowing incessantly, passing through the sky curtain and descending into the realm of immortals. His gaze swept and a hint of contemplation appeared on his face. Although I left Zixiao Palace but where to go next, he doesn't have a goal. Are you going back to Baiming? Lin Xiao murmured to himself, feeling a hint of hesitation. There is a fish in the North Sea, named Kuan. Kuan is so big that it is unknown how many kilometers it has turned into a bird, and its name is Peng. This is Kuanpeng. And Baiming is the birthplace of Kuanpeng. It is equivalent to a dojo for those great supernatural powers and innate sacred practices. However, just going back like this, Lin Xiao still feels a bit unsatisfied. By the way, previous rewards. Lin Xiao's mind suddenly moved and he remembered making the decision to leave Zixiao Palace, as the system's reward had not yet been claimed. Claim Rewards Ding Option 3 Leave Zixiao Palace directly and return to the Immortal Realm, Reward Mixed Spirit Tianpeng's Cultivation Enlightenment, All Souls Map, Confirm Rewards, Start Distributing The Next Moment a huge realization surged in Lin Xiao's heart, straight into his heavenly spirit. Immediately, the spiritual cultivation insights of Hunling Tianpeng, one of the three thousand chaotic demon gods in the past, were all integrated into Lin Xiao's mind. He raised his hand and suddenly an immeasurable golden light bloomed, like a billion-dollar divine sword, with unparalleled sharpness. Lin Xiao has a feeling if he encounters Sanqing again, Perhaps he can try the invincible heaven and earth Xianhuang Linglong Pagoda in Taiching's hands. 
Thinking of this, Lin Xiao flipped his hand and two light clusters appeared in his palm. A white light is shining brightly, containing a jade-like charm. It is precisely the accompanying spiritual treasure of the Yuan dynasty, the Three Treasures Jade Rui. This thing was forcibly snatched by Lin Xiao, and all the prohibitions inside were erased by him, marking the beginning. If you want to drive it, you still need to re-refine it. And another beam of light it contains a painting scroll, which looks plain and unremarkable. But actually, if it were in terms of rank, this painting scroll is more than one level higher than the three treasures Jade Rui. This is another reward for the third option. The Universal Spirit Map Chaos Level Magic Weapon In the past, he was one of the 3000 Chaos Demon Gods and the protective treasure of the Wanbao Demon Gods. However, this power is not strong, and when it comes to killing power, it is far inferior to the killing immortal sword and killing god spear. But, it possesses the power of a quantitative world, capable of breaking through all mysteries and ignoring the pressure of prohibition. Even a bit of treasure hunting magic. Although it doesn't sound very good but in fact, this spiritual map is not inferior to the rank of chaos level magic treasures. With this 10,000 spirits map Lin Xiao can see the power of Pangu in Mount Bujo as overwhelming as nothing. Among some immortal mountains and blessed lands, there are inevitably spiritual treasures. But most of them are protected by formations above the Luo Jin Xian and Quasi Holy Realm. And with this 10,000 spirits map, one can ignore all prohibitions and freely take away the creation of the Tianding Fate Fruit. Even Lin Shirua has ideas it is not impossible to gather all the treasures and spiritual roots of the vast world. Chaos Level Magic Weapon Let me see the mystery of this 10,000 spirits chart. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered as he unfolded the map of all spirits. Immediately, he saw a sea area emerging above, slightly glowing. That's right in the east. It's the East Sea. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 The East China Sea, shocked by the ancestral dragon, the Three Islands Fairyland becomes a avenue. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 The East China Sea, shocked by the ancestral dragon, the Three Islands Fairyland becomes a avenue East China Sea. In the Wasteland world, there are several extremely famous Fairyland holy sites, which are recognized as places with treasures and spiritual roots. For example, Mount Bujo and Kunlun. And above the Four Seas, there is also a fairy mountain holy land that is not inferior to Mount Bujo and Kunlun. That is the three islands of Penglai deep in the East China Sea. Buzz. The two energies of Yin and Yang linger around the world. Lin Xiu crossed the void and stepped down. In an instant, he arrived at the sea from the end of the sky. This is the East China Sea. It's a bit beyond my expectations. Lin Xiu glanced around thoughtfully, then his gaze fell deep into the sea. His eyes were filled with heavenly secrets, as if tearing apart layers of nothingness in an instant, peering into the depths of the sea. That is a magnificent scene where countless dragon races sleep under the sea suddenly. Ong. A long dragon chant faintly came, shaking the heavens and earth. Lin Xiu's eyes were slightly condensed, and a black shadow appeared before him that covered the sky and sun. His gaze penetrated deep into the sea that is an indescribable giant beast, perched in the abyss, motionless. Even if Lin Xiu's gaze swept over, he couldn't catch a glimpse of the full face of this giant beast. In the wilderness, there are clouds, and the true body of Kunpeng is like a wing hanging from the sky, boundless and boundless. But in Lin Xiu's opinion this giant beast in the depths of the sea is truly boundless. Its entire body presents a sacred glow, with countless scales covering its entire body, like the Qing Tian mountains lying deep under the sea. Is this the Zulong? Lin Xiu murmured to himself, unable to catch a glimpse of the whole picture with his gaze. This is the time of the Dragon Han Cataclysm, the ancestral dragon that governs the vast world and surpasses the innate hundred tribes. 
Similarly, it is also the culprit who triggered the Dragon Han catastrophe. Even if Lin Shui is a brave expert just broke through the great Luo Golden Immortal, my heart is full, and I don't really want to provoke such a true dragon that can swallow the sky and devour the earth. Find Peng Lai first. I have no grudges against the dragon clan either. Lin Xiu sensed a hint of danger emanating from the depths of the sea and was about to leave with his foot raised. This kind of aura far surpassing the Luo Jin Xian. The dormant ancestral dragon in the depths of the East China Sea may at least exist at the peak of the quasi holy realm. However, just as Lin Xiu was about to move his foot, a faint vibration suddenly came. The vibration was extremely subtle, as if it was just a somersault after waking up. But on the sea in an instant, a huge wave was stirred up. Boom! A terrifying aura rises into the sky. Zulong. Lin Xiu's pupils tightened, his thoughts were like lightning. The ancestral dragon sleeping deep in the East China Sea I was awakened by him. Just a thought of it. Lin Xiu immediately evolved the Yin and Yang Qi, urging him to run away at lightning speed. Next moment, buzz. Deep in the East China Sea, in the abyss. A pair of tightly closed eyes suddenly opened. At this moment. Not long after the Dragon Han Cataclysm has passed in the past, on the vast and desolate continent, life was in ruins, and the battles of hundreds of ethnic groups were vividly remembered. In an instant, the terrifying dragon power erupted. Ong. The extremely terrifying pressure directly envelopes the entire East China Sea. Lin Xiu's face slightly changed, transforming into Kuanpeng's true body. Immediately. It flapped its wings and flew deep into the clouds, crossing 90,000 miles in an instant and disappearing. And above the East China Sea only leaving overwhelming pressure. Escaped. It's the Kuanpeng. The innate sacredness born in the North Sea. In the depths of the East China Sea, the ancestral dragon perched in the abyss lifted its head. In an instant, the entire depths of the sea trembled uncontrollably. His eyes were incredibly vast, as if the stars were dead, only cold and indifferent. That direction is Penglai Island. Did you actually leave the Purple Cloud Palace? Interesting little guy. Zulong murmured softly and slowly closed his eyes. He made a big oath in front of the heavenly way Yongzhen foresees I. The dragon clan will never be born again. So. Zulong will abide by it and will never care about what happens in the midst of the flood. Besides if he didn't sense it wrong, then Kuanpeng has already proven that the Luo Daogua. A great Luo Jinxian when the current order of the Heavenly Way has not yet been established, there is no danger amidst the chaos and chaos. On the other side, Lin Xioshan transforms into a Kuanpeng, crossing the void between the Sea of Clouds. It is Kuanpeng, with the fastest speed in the world. A pair of hanging cloud wings flapped, spanning 90,000 miles in an instant. However, at this moment, Lin Xiu's face was somewhat surprised, I didn't expect to startle Zulong. Exactly. Not long after the end of the Dragon Han Cataclysm, this person should not have completely fallen asleep yet. Lin Xiu recalled the breath he had just sensed at least at the peak of the quasi-holy realm. Rumors have it that in the end of the Dragon Han Cataclysm, Zulong fought alone against Yuan Feng and Shikolin. If we really let Zulong carry the momentum of great victory, we may be able to break through the shackles and achieve the realm above the quasi-saint. However, Zulong should not have obtained the Three Corpse Method. The Path of the Chaos Demon God, do you understand the laws of the Tao? Lin Xiu's face showed a thoughtful expression. He has already proven the fruit of the Great Luo Dao and broken through to the Golden Immortal of the Great Luo. What to consider next how to further break through? There is a fusion of the roots of two chaotic demon gods, combined with the spiritual cultivation insights of Hunling Tianpeng he has completely embarked on the path of proving the chaos demon god. Understand the laws of the Tao and attain the realm of mixed elements. I am Kuanpeng. Having an innate understanding of the principles of yin and yang, 
one can achieve twice the result with half the effort. In addition, the two fused chaotic demon gods' roots also match. The most important thing is. This road can prove the Hunyuan realm. Lin Xioshan took a deep breath and silently digested the rewards obtained from the previous system. Then, he cast his gaze towards the far end of the sky. The thick fog lingers in the sky, blocking the sun and reflecting in all directions. In a faint moment, three immortal islands are connected, faintly visible. Penglai Island Lin Xioshan took a deep breath and felt a slight movement in his heart, knowing that he had found a place. Next moment, its vibration hangs on the wings of the clouds, directly entering the thick fog that covers the sky and the sun. An unimaginable sense of pleasure permeates the whole body. Immediately, Lin Xiu's eyes lit up as if he had traveled again and arrived at a fairyland outside the world. Three immortal islands, echoing from afar, are situated on the sea. This is the famous Penglai Three Islands in the wilderness. If he remembers correctly they are the abbot, Ingzhou, and Penglai. There are endless treasures on all three islands, enjoying the reputation of a vast wilderness. Rumors At the beginning of the creation of heaven and earth, all things in the wilderness are reborn, waiting only for renewal. Penglai Three Islands are hidden deep in the East China Sea, shrouded in a sky full of fairy mist, and no living creature can find their location. Because that fairy mist is a natural formation that protects the three islands. Until Hong Jun taught 3,000 mortal guests at the vast gate of Zixiao Palace and bestowed the title of Eastern Prince as the head of male immortals. This Penglai Island officially came into existence and now has its owner. That is the Eastern Prince. However, now the Eastern Prince is still listening to lectures in the Zixiao Palace. The first person to find Penglai Island is Lin Xiu. From now on, there will be no more East Prince. Only this Kuanpeng. Lin Xiu stood with his hands down, looking down at Penglai Island from afar. It has already been treated as one's own territory. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Guarding the Great Formation, Innate Spirit Root 5 Needle Pine. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Guarding the Great Formation, Innate Spirit Root 5 Needle Pine. Lin Xiu landed directly on the island and began to wander aimlessly. This Penglai Island is a renowned existence in the vast world. On the island, there are many treasures. Some innate spiritual roots that can be called names throughout the vast world you can see it everywhere here. Among them, a five-needle pine is undoubtedly the most precious. When Lin Xiu saw this innate spiritual root, his eyes were straight. But unfortunately there is a five elements formation guarding around this innate spiritual root. He approached from a distance and was directly blocked outside the formation. It seems that at least one must be in a quasi-holy realm to have the strength to break through. Unfortunately, this is a five-needle pine. Lin Xiu slammed his lips, feeling a bit regretful, but without any attachment, he turned around and left. Five-needle pine he obviously doesn't have the strength to covet it now. But in the future, it may not be impossible. Lin Xiu walked step by step to the center of the island, where stood a huge ancient and heavy stone tablet. Its entire body is pitch black, with only two ancient and mysterious characters engraved. Peng Lai. Is this the center of the Peng Lai formation? Lin Xiu stared at the stone monument in surprise, with a more intense expression of contemplation in his eyes. He has a feeling if we can refine this stone tablet, we can control the entire Peng Lai island. Just a thought of it. Lin Xiu couldn't help but step forward and touch the stone tablet. Boom! In an instant, a surge of magical power surged into the stone tablet. Countless prohibitions have emerged, overwhelming the entire Penglai Island. That's the prohibition on the stone tablet. Refining all prohibitions he can control Penglai Island. The mana required for refining this stone tablet is too massive. Lin Xiu's face slightly changed and he slowly withdrew his palm. 
He's worried about slowing down a bit the magic inside the body needs to be sucked clean. This damn stone tablet is really appetizing. Lin Xiao shook his head and stopped doing what he wanted. This stone tablet is like the protective formation of five needle pine it's not something he can covet in the short term. Penglai Island is a great place. Taking advantage of the current teaching at Zixiao Palace, no one is competing with me. Let's take it first before we talk. Lin Xiao's thoughts twitched slightly, and he simply sat under the stone tablet, his eyes closed and focused. He made a choice in the Zixiao Palace and received the system reward of the cultivation enlightenment of the Hunling Tianpeng just digest it well now. In the mountains, there is no time, but in the sea. On Penglai Island, fairy mist lingers and auspiciousness permeates. The entire island is covered with countless spiritual roots, naturally turning it into a sacred overseas mountain. Ordinary innate beings if one can practice on this island, they will definitely achieve twice the result with half the effort. However, Lin Xiao, who was sitting in the center of the island, didn't have many ideas. With his eyes closed and focused, hundreds of years passed in the blink of an eye. But he is still comprehending the spiritual cultivation of Hunling Tianpeng at this moment a person who was once one of the 3000 chaos demon gods has left behind an astonishing spiritual enlightenment. Even if Lin Xiao fused the roots of the two chaotic demon gods, he would still benefit greatly from his enlightenment. At this moment, in the midst of Lin Xiaoxin Lake, a vast expanse of golden light has already risen, like an endless sea. Yeah. A long cry suddenly resounded through heaven and earth. The Tianpeng, with a body length of thousands of miles, flapped its wings and soared thousands of miles, breaking through the clouds and fully displaying its body. The golden lights were like divine swords, with unparalleled sharpness, piercing through the void as if they were about to pierce through the sky. Hunling Tianpeng is one of the 3,000 chaotic demon gods. Enter the Qiyang Avenue with the Golden Light Avenue rule. No wonder Tianpeng's feathers can become an incredibly sharp feather sword. Move with just one thought. Billions of golden lights are all divine swords. Lin Xiao immersed himself in it, evolving the divine power of the mixed spirit Tianpeng. Meanwhile, its internal magic gradually became fiery, as if there was a surge of heat, surging uncontrollably. Buzz. Three flowers bloom, gather the great Luo. Lin Xiao closed his eyes and sat under the stone tablet, with three flowers blooming above his head, condensing the fruit of the great Luo Road. A terrifying aura erupted on him. On the island, countless spiritual roots tremble and tremble, as if they are somewhat afraid. Obviously these most intelligent beings have already sensed something. Ten level the Luo Jin Xian. The portion is too heavy. Lin Xiaopan sat under the stone tablet, as if there was a breath changing behind him. In an instant a golden figure rushed out from behind, incredibly massive, blocking the sky and sun. Yeah. A golden-winged rock flapped its wings and flew into the clouds, transforming itself. Immediately, the wings of hanging clouds emerged. Terrifying pressure looms. Almost simultaneously. Lin Xiao, sitting under the stone tablet in the center of the island, also slowly opened his eyes. In the middle period of the Great Luo Realm. That's not bad either. Lin Xiao glanced at his palm and tightened it slightly. A magnificent and boundless force surged along with it buzz. The emergence of Yin and Yang Qi, evolving into the mysterious and profound Tao. Yin Yang Avenue. This is the principle of Lin Xiao's cultivation, which means that when you reach the peak and end, you will be able to transcend it. In fact, the spiritual cultivation in the world of the wilderness is divided into Heavenly Immortal Realm, True Immortal Realm, Xian Immortal Realm, Golden Immortal Realm, Tai Realm, and Dala Realm. Ordinary creatures can only reach the realm of Dala. But above the Great Luo Golden Immortal, there are also quasi-saints and heavenly saints. It's just that. The latter two are difficult to touch realms. Before the Battle of Dao and Mo, 
there were many quasi-holy realm experts in the vast world but most of them fell during the Dragon Han Cataclysm. The battle initiated by Zulong, Yuan Fong, and Shikalin did indeed cause countless creatures to perish. Further cultivation. The effect is not very good either. Try cracking the protective formation of those innate spiritual roots on the island, and break through the realm again with the innate spiritual roots. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered, and he made a decision in his heart. He stood up and walked towards the location of the Polygonum Multiflorum and Ginseng that he saw directly. He didn't find the Five Needle Pine in a timely manner. Nature also knows the name of this innate spiritual root. One of the top ten innate spiritual roots in the world of the wilderness, its utility goes without saying, it contains a huge and incomparable chi of the five elements. It is enough to easily break through the innate sanctity of Taiyi realm and cross to the great Luo Golden Immortal. But this innate spiritual root is a bit timid Lin Xiao has no absolute certainty and will not easily touch these five needles of pine. The island is slightly south. On a mountaintop, an ancient tree towering into the cloud stands here. Lin Xiao walked slowly to the bottom of the tree and looked up at the fallen leaves on the ancient tree. The rich and incomparable aroma of tea permeates in a daze. He has an illusion of enlightenment. Undoubtedly, it is the existence second only to the Bodhi tree among the innate spiritual roots. This ancient tea tree of Wudao can not only smell the aroma of tea, but also allow the innate divine to feel the realm of Wudao. What a mystery! Lin Xiu sighed and then sat cross-legged under the tree. He first noticed this Wudao ancient tea tree it is one of the famous innate spiritual roots in the world of the wilderness. He naturally won't miss it. Lin Xiu wants to control the entire Penglai island and obtain all the innate spiritual roots and treasures on the island. Then, enhance your own strength. Since I've traveled here for a while how can we not go and see the scenery at the end of the avenue, above the summit? End of this chapter Chapter 10 Collecting the Ancient Tea Tree of Wudao, the Eye of the Heavenly Way, and the Transformation of Escape You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Collecting the Ancient Tea Tree of Wudao, the Eye of the Heavenly Way, and the Variable of Escape there are countless spiritual roots in the vast world, many of which have mysterious and mystical effects. For example, the ginseng fruit tree, one of the top ten natural spiritual roots, can produce ginseng fruit fruit, increase longevity and cultivation and magic power at the same time. A ripe ginseng fruit can increase the magic power of ten yuan hui out of thin air. If the living beings eat it after tomorrow even one can leap over the gate of birth, return to birth in the future, and embark on the path of great cultivation. The ancient tea tree of Wudao can allow people to enter the realm of Wudao. A piece of tea, a state of enlightenment. At this moment, Lin Xiopan sat under the tea tree, closed his eyes and focused, sorting out his own path. He received a system reward to directly integrate the roots of the two chaotic demon gods. Now the foundation is not inferior to Sanqing. Even compared to the latter, Lin Xiu has a greater advantage. Although Sanqing is the orthodox sect of Pangu and transformed into the primordial spirit, it is divided into three parts. There is also a shortage as a result. That's also why Sanqing went to Zixiao Palace if it were based on their roots, they wouldn't actually need to go to Zixiao Palace this time. Lin Xiu is different. He has fused the roots of two major chaotic demon gods, surpassing Sanqing. And now he has cultivated into the great Luo Golden Immortal innate is leading Sanqing, I don't know how far it is. The Luo Jin Xian. Transcendent, the three realms of heaven and earth, beyond the five elements. Buzz. Three flowers gather and slowly bloom. Lin Xiao's head was filled with clear air like clouds, rising from the sky and covering the ground. His mind was focused on nothing, and after the clear air above his head formed three flowers, it gradually gathered behind him. Woo! Yeah! As if the sound of chirping has crossed the river of time. A black koan fish, a golden tianpeng. Chi Chi appears. 
In an instant, the laws of Yin and Yang appeared in Lin Shoshin's lake. That is the avenue built by the two chaotic demon gods at this moment, we blend together. He wants to borrow the ancient tea tree of Wudao and build his own path. Kuenpeng is already a top dot notch being among the innate divine beings. But after merging the roots of the two chaotic demon gods Lin Xiu still has the possibility of going up. Kunyu and Tianpeng blend together the wings of the hanging clouds are descending, perching on the sky. That is a huge black shadow that blocks the sky and the sun. It slowly swims like a towering beast. The entire sky is packed. The two energies of Yin and Yang linger, overwhelming the sky and earth. Lin Xiu's mind moved slightly, and a sound suddenly came from within his body. In an instant. Heaven and earth tremble. The entire Penglai Island is gathering spiritual energy crazily. Meanwhile, Lin Xiuxin's mind wandered freely, with clear thoughts reaching straight to the heavenly spirit. Buzz. The golden light of the road emerges, interweaving into the laws of the great road. Pengu created heaven and earth, and chaos divided yin and yang. This is the ultimate truth of the Tao. I use Kuenpeng to prove yin and yang, evolve the laws of the Tao, and wield the power of yin and yang. Immediately. Yin and yang evolve into all things, and all things generate five qi, which is called tai yi. The five qi transforms into the five elements, generating and suppressing each other, evolving into all things in the world. This is my path. Lin Xiupan sits under the ancient tea tree of Wudao. Close your eyes and concentrate. A flick of a finger, millions of years pass by. Lin Xiu's powerful magical power surges within his body, interweaving into the laws of the Tao. Yin and Yang Qi, lingering around the world. Yin and Yang evolve all things. This is the ultimate truth of the Tao. Lin Xiu slowly opened his eyes, and a trace of time passed by. Immediately, he grew up. Heaven and earth shine into my eyes, with no more secrets. Countless traces of the main road emerge sweep away at a glance, and see through everything. The Luo Jin Xian transcends the five elements and is not within the three realms. You can glimpse the end of the avenue. But if we can't break free from the constraints of the heavenly way. Still just ants. Lin Xiu's face showed a thoughtful expression, staring thoughtfully at the sky above. In the dark. In the depths of the sky and clouds, there seems to be a heavenly palace emerging. A pair of eyes slowly opened, cold and heartless, without any waves. That is truly the eye of the heavenly way. This is. Did you notice me? In an instant, Lin Xiu's hair stood on end, and a chill rose in his heart. Heavenly authority. Even a saint cannot resist not to mention that he is a giant Luo Jinxian like an ant. No. Three thousand red dust guests from Zixiao Palace. I am the one who left. This perfectly fits the situation of Tianyan 49, evading one of its variables. The attention of the heavenly way. It's because I'm the one who escaped. Lin Xiu muttered to himself, realizing it later and reflecting on it. In a daze. Even when he left Zixiao Palace, he was still in the calculation of the heavenly way. The chessboard of this heavenly path it's a bit difficult to get out of it. Now three thousand mortal guests are all in Zixiao Palace, listening to Hong Juan's teachings. In the future, they will be three thousand pieces on the Tiandao chessboard. Now that I have traveled through time, let Kuenpeng leave and become the one who has fled. This is a variable. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered as he caught a glimpse of the chess game of the Heavenly Way, breaking free from the predicament. He wants to walk his own path so as to break free from the constraints of the Heavenly Way. I use the Yin Yang Syndrome of the Great Luo to evolve all things and enter the quasi-holy realm in the future. No. Not a quasi-saint. Still the Luo Jin Xian. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered, and suddenly a spiritual light surged in his heart. Quasi-saint that is the path of the sage. He is not a quasi-saint, 
but a great Luo Jinxian. In ancient times, there has never been a saint in the vast world. The road of Daluo is endless. I use the Tao to prove my own path, and can enter the realm of Dalai Lama. Lin Xiu spoke softly, with a clear breath permeating his head, forming three flowers of the great road. In an instant, the three flowers coalesced, giving rise to a platform. A large Luo Dao fruit appears. Lin Xiu stepped forward, hugged the ancient tea tree of Wudao with both hands, lifted it up, and sent it into the fruit of the Tao. Next moment, buzz. A blurry figure emerged, reciting scriptures on that platform. All innate spiritual roots are born sacred and have divine powers. This Wudao ancient tea tree is no exception. The one who recites scriptures and texts it is precisely the transformation of the ancient tea tree of Wudao. To recite the scriptures through enlightenment and attain the treasure of the Tao. Lin Xiu let out a deep breath, and behind him, the great road was blazing with darkness. Its internal magic surges up, and a brilliant glow rushes into the sky. In an instant, even the chaos was torn apart. For a long time, Penglai Island has calmed down. Lin Xiu stood on the mountaintop, surrounded by the ancient tea trees of Wudao. A congenital spiritual root. It can help me understand the Tao and glimpse the existence of the Eye of the Heavenly Way. If we could also take away the five needles of pine. Lin Xiu's eyes flickered, his mind moved. The next moment. Its body moved slightly, spanning thousands of miles and reaching the center of the island. Auspiciousness permeates, and the rosy glow surges. A pine tree, resembling an innate spiritual root, stands in the center of the island, surrounded by a pool of spiritual energy. The chi of the five elements permeates its body it's the guardian formation. This is the five needle pine, one of the top ten innate spiritual roots in the world of the wilderness. I'm not greedy either. Just a few pine cones. Lin Xiu smiled and reached out to grab the five needle pine. In an instant, the protective formation trembled. Immediately. The blazing Xuanguang shines brightly. Boom. Lin Xiu remained indifferent and closed his eyes. Open it again. Buzz. Infinite golden light blooms, and the laws of the Great Way emerge. A series of golden lights are like divine swords, with unparalleled sharpness, piercing through the clouds. Lin Xiulong stood up, his arms swaying, as if he was about to tear open the protective array. End of this chapter